sometimes you just have to laugh at the sort of ridiculousness of your situation. So I'm trying to build this 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 platform, right? The reciprocity platform. Um, and everything about it just feels so rinky dinky and feels like so ridiculous at any given moment. Like right now, I am, this is how I'm doing marketing because I don't have time <laughs> to do it. So I'm walking my dogs. So you can hear them panting in the background. I got two golden retrievers and they sound like steam. One, the one sounds like a steam engine all the time whenever we take them for a walk. Um, and in this, this is my life. Um, this week I had virtually everything go wrong, but go right at the same time. <laughs> you know, I was, um, oh, it's just, it's just funny, uh, in terms of, you know, development, in terms of on the platform, I looked to see what was going on and I was like, oh gosh, there was like a whole group a whole bunch of users that just were not in the database anymore um i don't know what happened to that i think the developers made a mistake um you know i had uh one one sort of group was leaked the uh, one of the api keys to the public and that was shut down <laughs> you know like like everything that you'd ever imagine is sort of goes wrong and happens and it's just like ridiculous and i was thinking about just how kind of comical it is with all of this that everything possibly goes wrong just kind of goes wrong all the time and everything seems like super rinky dinky right from afar you're like people might look at it and say hey this thing is is happening or it looks like some sort of amazing thing but when you're doing it oh my gosh you have no idea how stupid like just silly you feel how like rinky dinky everything is like just putting it together feels so silly um i, <laughs> I don't have enough money to have a zoom account because that's expensive um and it's actually, it's not necessarily that I don't have enough money. It's that if I spend more on it, um, my wife is going to say something and I feel bad. I don't want to have that conversation with her. Um, so I, I try to keep it within a certain boundary. Um, you know, like it's just pure guilt and pure like all of the sort of negative emotions that you have. And I can't sort of justify different things. So I end up having to to ask people, like they graciously offer their time um, to be on like a Zoom call, for example, about it. And then I have to ask them for to record it and then them to send it to me. Like the whole thing is so rinky dinky and silly. Um, I just think about like everything that that you do. When you do something like this, it's so silly. And I'm doing like, you know, I'm, I, to keep sort of separation of church and state between my institution and the platform. Um, I try to do things on Chromebooks because they're way more cheaper. I have like a Google account because it's way more cheaper than buying an actual laptop. Um, you know, like all of these things all of the sort of cutting corners. I don't, you know, my office often for it is, is spending, you know, sitting at my table in the, in the dining room. Like the whole thing is so ridiculous. But what do you do? Right? Like, I think that's the question is what else what else do you do? What do you do? If somebody has a better alternative, um, by all means, you know, offer it. But I don't think that there is any good alternatives. You know, I'm, <laughs> there might be, somebody might say, well, why don't you apply for grants? Um, have you ever applied for grants before? Do you know what your odds are? Um, I, I'm, I'm writing one right now. That's, that's going to probably be 20, 25 pages long. And the chances of me getting it are slim to none. <laughs> like 10%. Um, 
of actually getting this thing. And I just want everybody to sort of think about this. It's like, yeah, on paper, it's it's easy, right? Like when you see it, it's easy. But how the hell do you do it, right? Like how how else do you do it? And it's it's a uh, so I, I I do this exercise. I just did it in class last week or the week before, where I get the I get my students to fundraise, and they just have to get ten dollars from people. And you know, one thing when you're sitting there talking about it, it seems so easy. But then when I say, hey, you have an idea, go get $10 from somebody for that idea. And then they go out and they find out, like, nobody wants to offer them money. They feel really silly, ridiculous. Like, all of those emotions come up that that is just, like, what what are you doing? You know, I have this stupid idea that doesn't make any sense. And nobody really cares about it. But I have to actually raise money for it. Like, like the whole thing. What's the alternative, right? So that's where you just kind of have to just almost laugh about how ridiculous it actually is. And it all starts like that. No matter what I have done, it all starts like that. It's just ridiculousness and silliness. And there's no, like, right answer with anything. And all of a sudden, like... Other people, there, there comes a time where all of a sudden people just imagine that it's real. And, and, I, and I say that with a question mark, <laughs> right? Like, it's all just made up. And it takes an awful long time before people start seeing it as a real thing and start believing it as a real thing. I just think, I just think it's all hilarious. Um, and you know, the whole thing is very rinky dinky, but you just gotta be okay with that. You have to get up, do it and just get going and just be happy with what you actually have. Right. So, um, I'm not going to quit my daytime job because frankly, I think that would be a little ridiculous at this moment. Um, but you know, I'm still going to keep working at this and find little ways. And so, you know, people might think like, well, so if it becomes a thing, maybe I'd consider quitting. But this is not a thing right now. Um, and, you know, people that haven't experienced this don't understand. They don't know that how precarious or silly things actually are until you actually do it. And if you're going through this, I want you to know that you're a-okay. Everything is ridiculous and it's silly, but that's perfectly fine. Just keep doing it.